Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make your Steam look like this. This is going to be a downgrade tutorial as well as a theme installation tutorial. So, first thing I need to say, if you have access to the Steam beta, you need to remove that. And I'm going to go ahead and just close Steam. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to our Steam directory. So, like I said, if you have access to the Steam beta, Maybe you don't, but if you do, go to Steam, right-click and create a shortcut. And I'm just going to rename this so you know what it is. Right-click and go to Properties. In Target, write Dash Clear Beta. If you start this up, this will open Steam and it will clear your beta access. Now, this is necessary because you may run into an issue if you have access to the Steam beta. So. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that, and I'm going to show you what this looks like if I download the newest version of Steam. Alright, so you can see we have a URL here, and if we go to help, you can see about Steam, and it says Friday, January 12th, and this is the Steam version. So we're going to downgrade this now. I'm going to show you some documents that I've used in order to figure all this out. I'm referencing this, and I'll, I'll put links in the description and all that, but basically we want this command right here. So what this does, let me read it to you. Let's go to Notepad. Force Steam Update, Force Package Download, Override Package URL. We supply the URL, and then we tell Steam to exit if it's open. The URL comes from webarchive.org, and this is the update number from the update that we're going to go to. So 2023, May 31st. And the rest of these numbers, I'm not sure what they are. Then there's also this if underscore, that's extremely important, as well as client. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this. We're gonna create a shortcut for Steam again, and we're gonna just rename it to downgrade. Go to properties and paste that command in there. And now what this'll do is force Steam to downgrade. So we're gonna downgrade this now using the command that I just put into that shortcut. Let's go to our shortcut now. Completely close Steam if you haven't. Now it's going to check for available updates, and it's going to install this older version. So one thing I need to mention to you, we need to create a new text document. Call it steam.cfg. It cannot have a text extension. Need to get rid of that. So we don't want text extension, we just want it to be a CFG. Go ahead and open this up. And now, we want to navigate to this tutorial, right here, this document. Grab these two commands, and we're going to paste them in here. Bootstrapper inhibit all, enable, and bootstrapper for self-update to false. So let's go ahead and start this up. Okay, go ahead and log in again. Alright, now, go to help, about Steam, get rid of my friends list, about Steam, boom, there you go, May 30th, 2023. We have now officially downgraded, and the friends list is broken. I will show you how we can fix that in the future. Now that we've downgraded successfully, we're going to want to install this theme called OG Steam. Go to the GitHub page, go to releases and you can download this from here. Source code, and then another alternative way you can download it is just by clicking this code button and downloading the zip. So what that'll give you is this. So we got OG Steam right here. In order to install this, you gotta navigate in here. You got OG Steam. Go in your Steam directory, make a new folder, call it skins. Now we're gonna drag and drop OG Steam into skins. Go into Steam like this, right click, go to settings, and we can go to interface, and right here, default skin, set it to OG Steam. And you can see it already kind of started to do that. So uh, we're gonna hit okay. It'll ask you to restart, do that. And then we'll move on to the next part. I'm gonna manually restart. 
so you can see what this looks like. So we're going to start up with steam.exe. We're not going to use the downgrade anymore because we already did that. Yes, there we go. Okay. So now you can see the green is uh, coming in, the old 2004 look. All right, but it's not done. So I got more things I got to show you here. So you can check out my library and you can see that my library is still the way it was uh, in the new update. So, and the friends list is going to be broken. I'll explain that in a little bit. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, how can we fix it up to make this look just like the green? So this is where the next thing comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of Steam and we're going to go to the next part. And the next part is this, a thing called SFP. So SFP, navigate to this. You can read about it if you want. I'm just going to show you how to install it. So you go here, this little release thing. And if you have .NET 7 installed, you can download the .NET 7 version. If you don't have .NET 7 installed, you go to the self-contained version. So I'm going to go to the self-contained version, which has .NET 7 inside of it. Let me go ahead and open that up for you. So we go to SFP Win 10 x64 self-contained. All right, cool. Now you have just this exe file in here. What I like to do is drag and drop it into the Steam folder. Keep it all together. Now, what SFP allows you to do is apply themes. And it's going to say, okay, it's protecting my PC. I don't care. Run it anyway. I trust this program. It's open source. We are good. So what this does is this will allow you to inject custom CSS code into Steam. For right now, we don't have anything to inject. A few things I'm going to show you to do here. You want to minimize this to tray and close to tray. So when you click these buttons, it will not close this program. You're also going to want to run this on boot. So that way when you start up your computer, it will run. Um, one thing I'm going to add to this Steam launch args, no friends UI. I found this helps a little bit with the friends list, but no guarantees on that. So anyway, let's move on to the next part. How do we make this library look like the rest of Steam? So we need to go to this next thing, which is OG Steam library. Now, this has no releases. How do we download it? Same thing with the code, download zip. And then that's gonna give you this, okay? Now, navigate in here. This is optional WebKit CSS. I find it does not work. So what I've done is basically I just use these two right here. These two are what you need. So let me go ahead and go into the Steam directory. Go to Steam UI, which is where this is stored, by the way, Steam UI. Just drag and drop these two in here. And I do not use the images folder. It's up to you if you want to do that. But when I did that previously, it looks broken. So I don't like that. So anyway, basically now what we got to do is re-inject here with SFP. So if you click this, all right, now you can restart Steam if you want to. Um, I guess I can do that. I'll just show you. I'll show you with restarting Steam and then, and then you can see what it does. So just by putting these two inside Steam UI, we have now activated the Steam library uh, theme. So let's go to library. Okay, so if it doesn't automatically inject, don't worry about that. It will when you start up your computer or if you refresh this, you don't have to do this manually every time. But I just clicked stop injection and I'm gonna click start injection and you're gonna see it pop. Boom, there you go. Now your library looks like it needs to. Perfect. Okay, now there's a few things that we need to adjust. First of all, I don't like this ugly what's new garbage. So let's get rid of that. So library root custom.css, I'm just gonna do this first here. Click edit, okay? It's gonna open this up. Now there's this website that I came across um, and basically you wanna copy this. Okay, we're looking for this guy right here. Now we're in library root, control F and find this. Notice it says background none. That code doesn't work. So, but this code does. Display none important. Want that to go right here. Paste it in there, save it. Cool. Now, hit SFP, restart Steam.
And what that will do is it'll get rid of the what's new. Okay, library. Like I said, you don't have to click inject every time. It'll do this on the first startup of Steam when you start your computer. So, and there you go, boom. So that's gone. So we can get rid of that garbage, what's new. Don't want that. Now, for the final thing. This doesn't always work. I did it anyways. It's the last thing from Tiberium Fusion. Fixed Steam Friends UI. I find this half works. It's not perfect. So bear that in mind. So you can download patch release v2 and then... Uh, Click this, quick patcher patch, all right, cool. This does not work, 100%. So what I'll show you here is if I click Steam and I click Friends, it says, okay, network is unreachable, right? You're gonna notice this is gonna be even more broken in the future possibly, but it is what it is. You'll never be able to fix it perfectly. So we have this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and extract this so it can run properly. And what this does is basically, uh, just ignore this, run anyway. Once again, open source, so. Don't worry about it being a problem. Actually, it probably will say that it can't do this while Steam is on, so close Steam. It can't run when Steam's on, so that's fine. We're just gonna restart this. I don't know if it actually refreshes, which uh, it didn't refresh for me in the past, so I'm just gonna open it again. And so you have two choices here. You've got V2 or you got V1.2. If you're using newer versions of Steam, V2 works. But they say if you have older versions, use version 1.2. I've tried both. They don't work very well, but I'm going to do it anyways, on the off chance that it helps. There you go, that's it. You click the install Friends UI patch, and boom, it's done. It even makes a backup for you, in case you wanted to back up. So, uh, done. Click out of that, and now let's just go ahead and uh, restart Steam here, or start Steam. Like I said, your friends list is going to be a little botched now, but... Um, you know, it is what it is. This is the compromise you make if you want um, if you want this old Steam theme. So if I go to friends and chat, it's going to probably pop up with a black box or not pop up at all. Yeah, okay, here's your black box. So this happens. Uh, this is the result of downgrading Steam and also applying that friends patch. And the friends patch is supposed to fix this so that way it works, but it produces a black box. You can close it by going up here to your little X button, close it out. Uh, you can also use the Steam Community. This is kind of a ghetto fix for this, but if you go to Steam Community on the internet, you can sign into the Steam Community and there is an option for chat. So you can actually use the friends list in a web browser. And it's taken forever because I'm on Tor, but that's fine. So I'm not even gonna worry about it but basically if you sign into the steam community website and you go to a, one of the tabs that says chat you can use the chat so that's how to make steam look like old steam how it did 20 years ago literally 2004 so that's that um if you have any questions put it in the comment section thanks for watching peace out